hundreds of students and university staff members remained outside the convention hall, which became full two hours before the awarding ceremony in which the exiled Tibetan leader and Nobel Prize for Peace Laureate Dalai Lama XIV received Negev's Notable Person Award. The Dalai Lama preached his teaching to those who managed to squeeze into the hall. The Dalai Lama arrived for a visit to Israel as a guest of Yativ, Israeli Friends of Tibetan People organization. His four days visit to Israel has worked diplomatic problems. The Chinese government has submitted a demand to prevent Dalai Lama's entry to the state of Israel. The Chinese ambassador made clear that such a visit will severely damage China. Israeli government responded through Chinese counsel in Israel that such a visit could not be prevented. Yet the official statement would not meet the Dalai Lama. Already at the opening of the award giving ceremony, Professor Braverman said, China is a big friend of the university. Many Chinese students receive here their education and we intend to continue investing in these good relations. Nevertheless, the Dalai Lama is welcomed and distinguished guest and we are honored by his visit. The Dalai Lama combined humor throughout the lecture. He said, Everybody wants peace, but no one offers a way to achieve it. I am not a capable politician and even less of an expert on this region problems, but I am trying. The Dalai Lama used his teaching to speak of ways which every human being can take to achieve peace. He said, a smile is a sign of our inner warmth, with no regard to religion, race or sex. The Dalai Lama became serious while speaking about the main goal. Our major aim is to clear the world from nuclear and chemical weapons, he said. To some extent, in some sense, I think the limitation of nuclear weapons is on now. Is it happening? So now, eventually, I think our world should be free of nuclear weapons and chemical weapons. Because the job of these things. The Dalai Lama compared Jews and Tibetans, saying, Ever since we went into exile, we had been saying to ourselves that the Jews in the thousand years of the diaspora have managed to conserve the culture. We were trying to understand the secret of the Jews. Towards the end of the lecture, the Dalai Lama asked for questions from the audience and said that he always learned from the questions asked. During his four days visit to Israel, the Dalai Lama will lecture at the Hebrew University in Jerusalem and at Tel Aviv University. He will meet senior social and political leaders, but not with the representatives of the government of Israel.